Hey guys, happy Friday. At least it's Friday for us. So we're headed out to Upper Washington today and we're gonna go near Lena Lake, which was um, suggested to us from one of our subscribers. I'll put his name right here, across uh, her face. <laughs> But, um, so yeah, we're gonna hike Lena Lake Trail tomorrow, but tonight we're just gonna go car camp near there. There's, um... Yeah, there, we're gonna probably do a primitive camping because the campsites near that area are all closed right now for the season. And I think they have gates on them, so we can't go get in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for primitive sites on the forest road near the trailhead and hopefully we find one i looked at google maps and i see some possibilities if not then we're gonna have to get creative but we're hoping we find a campsite that we can camp to uh or we can camp at before we do the trail tomorrow so we're gonna do a rooftop tent camping tonight hopefully we find a campsite so the next thing you will see is uh us at hopefully a campground oh um so we're sorry to interrupt but uh, the place we're going is about two hours and 45 minutes away or so. And it's 3.15 now, so we should get there, I don't know, you know. About 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. If there's no traffic, which might, which we might have traffic, so it might be around 6 or 7, so it might start to get dark. So that's if we do find a campground. All right, so anyways, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Alright, here we are. So we made it to our campground. So we had to come through that road over there. And that it's a very, very narrow forest road. While we're coming, we weren't sure if there was going to be a campground or if there's just nothing but just road and we're going to drive for forever. Because that's happened to us before. But luckily, we did find a site right here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set up the tent, get a fire going. Just chill for a little bit. All right guys, so here's our setup. There's a nice sound of the creek right next to us here. So first of all, as you can see, the there's this pole over here to uh, keep the, the awning spread out. Now it's possible to do it on this side of the truck. And I don't know how many of you with rooftop tents have this issue, but that side of the flap, you can't open it up because this pole here gets in the way of the truck cab. So what I did was on the other side, I basically, let me go around, got one of these nylon lines and then I clipped it to the grommet and then I bring it over and I, you know, you got to be careful not to move that around too much over the cab because you don't want to scratch it. But as you can see, I just wrapped it around the bracket for my ditch light. I don't need to tie it or anything, just wrap it around a few times and that should hold enough tension to keep that uh, awning pulled out. So with that said, I don't need to have a pole because the pole, the cab will get in the way of the pole. Instead, I use this line. So that's a little camp hack for those of you guys with the same issue. So now we're able to have the awning open. And from inside, you can kind of barely see inside there. But for the inside now, I have a vantage point. And if you look out the window this way, I can see if uh, there's any activity from the trail coming towards the tent. And that is the only road towards the campground over here. This is a situation where you have to adapt and overcome. And sometimes you just gotta adapt and overcome. And that's what we did with that. All right, so now I'm gonna get the fire started, get that ready. Katie went in and did the inside cleanup. Let me see, actually inside. So there they are. So I'm gonna use this quick fire, light the campfire for today. Feel a little lazy, so just gonna light this up and just set the fire going so that I can do other things around the camp for now.
Now we're starting to kind of see mosquitoes around camp already. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna coat our rooftop tent with permethrin. So now I'm just gonna do uh, one quick coating around the entrance area and certain parts, and we're gonna have it dry while we're by the fire uh, for the evening. So it's gonna be a light coating. Uh, we do see mosquitoes and we just wanna make sure you know, we just get our gear covered as much as we can. So what we're gonna do is, since it's hopefully not gonna rain tonight, it'll give us time to be able to just dry from right now into the night overnight. You do wanna make sure you wear some sort of gloves. Typically, you might wanna wear like latex, non-permeable type glove, but since this is the only one I got, I'm just gonna use this for right now. All right, so that was just a little quick spray down of the outer side of the tent and some parts of the inner, the awning area. And another trip, I'll probably put another layer just to reinforce the permethrin impregnation into the material. Uh, for right now, it's better than nothing to have at least that one layer of go around. Now, I don't know if you can tell or not, but as you can see, there are some dark areas here. That's where majority, a lot of the permethrin has impregnated into the material. There are the lighter areas indicate the spots that are not as wet and more dry. So, like I said, most likely another time, another camping trip coming up, we're gonna do another second spray down. Now, because this is still a toxic chemical nonetheless, we do wanna make sure that we don't go into the tent while it's drying. Uh, it should take about an hour or so to dry. In the meantime, we're just gonna sit by the fire, have some drinks, and just relax. Guys, so we finally made it to this is basically this campgrounds all along on the side of the lake and we made it to the side area right by the stream so yeah for right now we're just gonna what are we gonna do snacks snacks yeah we're gonna have some snacks get some water in and stuff like that just relax for a little bit so we're gonna do that right now for snacks we got Doritos flaming hot matcha dark chocolate with nut and sea salt Kind bar, fruit and nut kind bar, Cliff Builders Protein Chocolate Mint, Builders Protein Vanilla Almond, and Snickers for Katie because she loves Snickers. Yeah, I get angry, angry without it. Angry. <laughs> so, anyways, so we're gonna chill, have some snacks, and relax for a little bit, and uh, we'll get back to you guys. We got the switchbacks which are towards the beginning so we're getting close to the car so we're starving guys like you know how it is after a tough hike yeah <laughs> <laughs> all we had today were those snacks that you saw us eat and it's almost what 1 30 right now so we're definitely we could use a good nice meal yeah we're hungry yeah we are starving yo <laughs> so we're at the final stretch we got just a bunch of switchbacks to cover catch Amen. you guys Hey, what's up guys? We're about halfway back to the trailhead. During the trail on the way down, uh, someone passed us who actually recognized 
me I actually recognized Bernie <laughs> and asked me if I had a YouTube channel so uh, if you're watching this sorry I did not get your name I should have it's my it's weird whenever something like that happens I don't I don't know exactly what to say There's but a girl and a guy yeah, thank a girl you and a guy. for saying hi yeah thank you for saying hi I really uh I appreciate that it caught me off guard a little bit but um I wish I could have taken your name if you are watching this please leave a comment or something if you have a channel or whatnot but um and let us know what you thought about the hike yeah yeah, but well, that was kind of cool. It was yeah. kind of weird. It was, I was a little awkward, but you know, it's all good. Um, like Kitty said, thank you for saying hi. If we ever run into anyone else watching this on a trail, yeah, please say hi. We love uh, talking to you guys. I won't be as awkward next time. I'll try. Alright, <laughs> what's up, guys? So we're back at the trailhead. There are a ton of cars here. Holy smokes! I did not know this trail was this popular. Yeah. There's cars parked on the forest road itself. I'm glad we went in at the time we did because it's about two o'clock and it's just packed. So, I recommend if you do come to this trail, uh, come early in the morning. If you're backpacking, uh, I'd say maybe come like on a Friday. Yeah. And then uh, pack into Saturday because um, definitely if you come here on a Saturday, it's gonna be. Probably all the campsites are going to be taken. We saw a lot of backpackers come up on the trail as yeah. we were leaving and uh, all that stuff. So, yeah, that concludes our trip for the weekend. Lena Lake. Lena Lake in Washington and the Olympic National Forest. So I want to thank you guys for joining us on this trip. Uh, be safe, take care, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 <laughs> this guy is so hot.